back everybody. In this video, I'm going to be changing out the water pump to a different style pump. This uh, trailer has a water pump that's a sure flow water pump. and We had it in our other trailer and it seemed to work pretty good, except I uh, got a leak on it once and had to replace it um, on the pump assembly. This one here, we've had this trailer a few months and I've been dealing with some problems trying to adjust it. Uh, the the uh, the pressure on it. it keeps surging on me and stuff. The trailer is a three-year-old trailer. Um, so what would happen is, let's say I I have this here. You kind of hear the pump. When I turn on low, the pump's surging. There's adjustments you can make to the pump in the description below this video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to um, put a link to this guy that goes over the SureFlow pump, how to troubleshoot it, uh, what happens if the check valve fails, what you do, um, how to adjust it so it does a nice steady stream. I've tried adjusting it over and over. I even had it so when I turn it on like this, this is the cold water, full speed, it'd be surging on and off. So I would adjust the pump, i get that corrected, and then it would uh, start doing it again. And then I looked at the pump once and I saw it dripping water. So I said, that's it. I'm so done with this. And also what it was doing in the shower. Uh, and then I was able to adjust that and stop it. But then it caused other problems. Um, was, um, let's say you're in the shower. You wet yourself down. You stop the, uh, the flow of water. Lather up with soap. Go to turn it back on. And then it would be hot, cold water just going on and off and it was not consistent so it's time I replace this so I did a lot of research and I found this other pump that I think will work it's a, a C flow it's a 42 series and it seems like a nice pump um, so we'll see I've, I've read good things about it and some people I know have them um, what it does is this pump supplies a constant flow of water. So if I'm, if I got this on part way and I'm running this, any fixture part way, the pump will come on and then it has a bypass. So the more water that I run through this, the less it bypasses. So it's got a steady stream. And then I think what'll happen is let's say I'm running this and then I want to do the bathroom water at the same time in the sink, the water flow will stay consistent. The pump will allow more to pump through it and it'll stay more consistent. This pump should bolt right up in the place of the SureFlow pump I have. It has a manual and I looked over it real quick and it's got some troubleshooting stuff in there too and how to adjust things. They recommend that you don't mess with the uh, bypass feature in it um, adjustment but you can if you have to but it explains all that how to do that right here so put that stuff aside pull this out of the box I haven't even really pulled out of the box yet I just looked in the box it's got the filter and some fittings I won't be needing these fittings here um, but uh, the filter I'll be using and then we got a the C flow pump right here. And let's see the wires. So it should be fairly easy to hook up. We'll see. I think the bolt pattern's the same to the one we got um, in here already. The only thing with all this is my pump is located down here. It's really a tight spot. Um, not really easy to get to. So let me swing over here and show you what tools I got to use in the area that we're putting the pump. Here's uh, some of the tools I think that I'll need. We'll see. Usually you start out like this and then pretty soon you got a lot of tools here. So um, I'll show you down under here. So it's right under here. Um, so I'm going to have to remove these doors because they don't open too far. I'm going to need room to reach in in there and stuff. So um, 
I'm going to remove these doors and then I'm going to come in and show you what it looks like under there. I've got the doors removed here. So we'll zoom in on the pump, but first I want to show you this picture. We were in Alaska earlier this year. Awesome place to go. We went on a land tour and I really enjoyed it. So here's us by a glacier. So going back inside here, you can see there's the pump. And if I zoom out, you can kind of see it's hard to get into. So I'm going to have to work on that. So I'm going to zoom in here. So what I'll do, I'll disconnect this fitting here, this one, and this hose here is loose. This is for uh, putting antifreeze in the system. And then on the other side, I'll have another fitting I'll unscrew. I'll unscrew it from the wall and then pull it out and then see where I have to disconnect the wires. So it should be a pretty simple process and we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna show you another angle looking in this compartment so you can kind of see where it is. So another way you can see it and not really get to it is, here's a garbage can in the counter. I'll just put that to the side and then I'll bring you on in here. And then you can see the pump there. So it's kind of hidden in there. I pull in, you kind of see what's happening from this side. So it's a pretty tight spot, but I think I can do it. The only thing is it's just really hard to get into from over here. So coming back out, this is where we are. So like I said, I'm going to remove this here. So first I'm going to take this, take this off, and then I'm going to come down here and take this off, pull this out. And then I'll come back to you and show you what it looks like. So before I start taking this stuff apart, I lay the towel here down below, and then I turn the water pump off, and then I release the pressure from the system at the faucet. This one here on the top, I had to use pliers on it just to crack it a little bit. Um, and then on the bottom, it has like a nice handles on it. It came right off. So now we'll just pull this right out like that. And I'll put it to the side and then I'll go ahead and start taking apart the other side. So on the other side, this is what I'm going to be doing. It's right there. I should be able to do it by hand. Hopefully I get in my, my hand in there to turn it. And it should be relatively easy, I hope. This was fairly easy to take apart. So now we got four screws that we got to take out for this pump to come down. I have two over here and two on the other side. Now the pump's hanging in here loose. Um, I got to take this red wire off and unplug. <clears throat> Maybe. There. Just unplugged it. So the red wire is disconnected and there's a black wire back here. I think it's this one right here. I'm just going to maybe just cut it here because it's all zip tied up there. I want to leave that zip tied connected to the side panel. So then I'll cut that there and then I'll reconnect my other pump wires to that. Before I cut the wire at the pump, I want to make sure there's no power to it. So my best option here is to pull the 10 amp red fuse there. You can see it says water pump. Um, and then there will be no power to it. And some um, trailers, they actually don't have the fuse in the panel here. And they have it right in a harness right by the pump itself. So if you don't have one in the panel, take a look by your pump and you'll have a 10 amp fuse there. Um, so I can either do it this way or I could kill the power to the whole trailer at the batteries. But then if I do that, then I won't have lighting in the trailer to work. So I've chose to pull this, um, this fuse here. Now that the wires cut, this should pull right out of here. Just like that. So there we go. I'm going to pull it out and set it here on the floor. Here's the pump side by side. Looking at the pattern to mount it, it looks like it's the same. 
and then I just have the positive and negative wires. Um, this is where I cut that black wire, and then that red wire was coming out of here. So I just have a red and a black, and red and black. So this should be easy to hook up. And then the new one comes with a new filter, so I'm just going to go ahead and put that on. I'm not going to use any um, sealant or anything on them. Um, any Teflon tape or dope, don't use any dope on it, a pipe dope, because it will plug up the pump and mess up the valves from pumping. So in here, has a tapered edge, so when it screws into here, it's going to have a nice seal on it. So it doesn't matter if this filter is up or down or sideways or whatever, um, but I'm going to try when I put it in, I'm going to try and have it in the up position maybe. Um, they say that on this pump, it's good to have it in that position. So if you need to prime it, you can take this off, pour a little water in there, and then put the cap back on it, primes it. But this is self-priming. In a way, this one is too, but um, I've never had to prime one of these pumps, but um, that's what I was reading about. And you'll see it in that video that I shared down below. Um, so we'll see where this ends up. I wanna make sure it's tight though. I don't want it loose or anything like that. Side by side, you can see this one. Let's see if I come in closer. The um, C-Flow is a taller pump. It looks like it's built a little bit beefier in the body here. The motor area is definitely bigger. It's probably heavier, heavier by a pound or two maybe yeah about a pound or two on the the weight um on the bottom here here's the uh, one that you adjust with the allen screw for pressure and then i just saw this this might be a bypass adjustment right here but um i've never read anything on that so i'm not sure and then on this one here Here's what you do to adjust the pressure. They said the pressure is already set uh, on it. And then here is for the bypass Allen screw. So it should be pretty easy to install. I think what I might do is hook up my hoses. And then I'm going to see if I can mount it a little bit higher in there. Because I was having to deal with a piece of pipe coming across here in the way to get the thing. So if I go up just a little bit, it might give me a little more room to work. So we'll see. I'll get these wires spliced on and the hoses hooked up and then see where it could sit. I've got the uh, strainer on here. It's hand tight and it happened to work out like I wanted. This is as tight as it would go. So it's nice and tight. Um, so you can see here, this here is on the um, suction side. So uh, let's see, I don't think you can see it. You might be able to see a little arrow here, and you'll see the directional arrows on here. I took and I crimped on the um, end connectors on each end, the black and uh, red. So this one here is the uh, mail in. So then um, take the mail in here, put it on here, and then on the other one, I'll do the male to the female here. And then what I'll do is I'll just go right here and crimp it onto the wires. Black to black, red to red. So the best way to do this is these are opposite. So you can't plug them in wrong. So um, doing it this way. If I went and I put two males on the other end, um, then I'd be able to switch these around and maybe short out the pump or blow a fuse. So this is how I do it. Um, I like using these connectors rather than these if I can, um, because once you crimp these shut, you know, just putting the wires together and crimping it, then you're done. You can't disconnect it. So if I had to pull the pump out someday, I'd have to cut the wires and do it all over again. So I like this way. I'm ready for the pump. I went ahead and crimped these on. 
uh, prior to uh, putting the pump in because it's such tight quarters in here. I'm going to go ahead and sneak the pump in here. First, I'm going to show you. I've been using a mirror too. I hold it up to see the screws and the fittings as I work on it, um, or I prop the mirror up and I just have it sitting there so I can see what I'm doing uh, whenever this uh, situation happens where I can't see behind things. It helps to have the mirror. So this will just go in there. I'm going to put it in and connect all the hoses and the wires, and then I'll be back to you. I just thought of something before I put this pump in. I want to show you on the end here. Um, I zoom in on it. You'll see a, there's a little rubble, rubber seal in there, which will go um, seat against where it connects on the pump right there. So there's no need to put any Teflon tape on any of this because that will seal against it. And so you just get it nice and tight. You don't have to crank on it where you break the fitting or anything. Um, and then where it connects on the filter right there, on that one, same same situation um, here. I think this is the end that goes on it. That's a, no, maybe it's this one. It'll it'll seal up in there, nice and tight, um, and it should have no leaks. We'll check it for leaks after. I've got the fittings all connected. I have them loose because I I'm going to uh, tighten them up once this is all in place. So the pump originally was mounted here and there. But it looks like I can raise it up a couple more inches. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'll come back to you. Everything is tightened up. I was able to mount the pump around two inches higher so I can get to the pump easier. Uh, the fuse is back in, and the water pump is on. And uh, so now we're going to run this through some tests and see how it does. Let's run this so you can hear what it sounds like with the water running and the pump running. Okay, so let's go ahead and open it all the way. There's all the way. And I'm going to just shut down slowly, closing it. The pump is still running. The pump's still running. Pump's still running. And now it's kicking on and off at that setting there. So now right there, I turned it up a little bit. Let's see, right there, the pump's still running. So that's good if I wanted to use a little bit of water. The pump would still run and it'd be consistent and the pump wouldn't be kicking on and off, on and off. So there's full speed. So that works pretty good. I feel pretty confident that this thing is quieter and it's running better. There's no leaks. I'm still going to keep an eye on it for a while and um, make sure there's no leaks because things can uh, leak later. So always keep an eye on it. And what I'm going to do is uh, do a follow-up video in the future to let you know how this one worked. But so far, I like this one a lot. Um, I'm going to put the doors on, and then I'm going to see how much quieter everything is. I just looked under here to make sure there's no leaks. I, I ran my hand underneath here after running it for a while. And uh, there's no leaks, but I'm going to keep an eye on it for quite a while. And regularly check it to make sure there are no leaks because you don't want any water leaking in your trailer because it'll become a nightmare with uh, rotting things out and ruining cabinets and everything. So I got the doors on. Let's see how quiet it is here. There's on low. High. I would say it's probably close to the same sound. It's a little bit quieter, but not not too much. I didn't check the decibels on it before and after. I have my microphone on right now. I'm going to take my microphone off and um, let you hear it that way. You might be able to pick up the sounds better. 
Now I have my microphone off and so you're hearing the sound through the camera. I'm going to turn it on just a little bit. There's a steady flow. Full flow. And then I'm going to do it so that it pulses on and off. So I'm going to say this thing is a little bit quieter. And I like how it operates. I like that the, the uh, pump isn't pulsing on and off when you're at lower flows. So all in all, I'm going to say this pump is a, a winner. So like I said, I'll do a follow-up uh, video on this later. If I have any problems with it, I'll put it in the description below. So I'm going to put a link to this in the description below, uh, like I mentioned, and then also for this pump here that I took out. Um, and then also the video on how to uh, adjust it all. Um, so it's got a nice manual. I'm going to keep that. Um, before I cut off here, I want to show you I did this uh, soap dispenser here on the counter. I'll put a link to that video too uh, below. So I want to thank everybody for watching. I hope we all learned something here today. And uh, if you have any experience with this, this uh, pump or this pump, Hey, leave comments below. Um, other people read the comments and um, and it's a way to share between all of us how to uh, pick the right pump and if we have any problems, how to troubleshoot them. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I do my best to respond to everybody as quick as I can. And uh, if you aren't subscribed already, I hope you do. Hit that subscribe button and that bell icon to be notified of future videos and um, give me a thumbs up thumbs down whatever you like thanks for watching everybody check out my other videos i hope you enjoy them thank you and happy camping